Hey guys, my name is Axidor and welcome back to another episode of Building Wakanda. This episode will be a little bit different since I've mostly just done things to my figures and made some new figures and customized them and also got new figures uh, for my collection. So I'm sorry if you guys wanted to have a building update but unfortunately I didn't really have enough motivation to build but I did have some motivation to create some new figures and I'm thinking uh, I finished something yesterday and I hope you guys are impressed by it but first I'll show you guys this store figure um, I probably haven't shown all my figures so I'm gonna have a full figure lineup for this episode so you have an idea uh, of which figures I'm gonna use for this mock so here we have Thor and I recently just got this new hair piece uh, might still go with something else but I actually kind of like it more than the spikes I think the spikes are a little bit too much and we have the new end game and end game head, end game torso and end game head. And I think there's also a Knights of Ren to, uh, leg, speed, leg piece that actually looks pretty good. Then we have the CMF Bounty Hunters um, like shoulder piece. And then we have a red cape in the back that I cut up. And then we have a black cape on the inside. And then we also have a brick built. Stormbreaker, which I've seen a, a lot of. So before I show you guys some new figures, I'll just open a little haul for you guys, a little small haul, and I'll see you guys after that. Hey guys, so here we have another package to open. A, uh, um, I actually forgot what's in there. I do know one thing, like one figure that's in there. And I actually got my camera on the most zoomed out uh, function or just stand or mode. Uh, we got some bubble wrap and we actually have a bunch of stuff in here um, so let's just start to open and uh, show you guys the parts so here we have some um, nice uh, plates just for probably the fourth part in Wakanda and in Minban actually I'm starting to prepare a lot for Minban uh, here we got some more uh, probably these are probably used and these are new let me just put the box on the side here we have some more plates so we're getting a bunch of these plates they're actually not that expensive luckily some more plates bubble wrap bubble wrap here we have a here we have a uh, um what is it called um jurassic park mosquito that's for some uh, upcoming thing in the boy launch and here we got the other epaulet for my uh, Tron, my second Tron. So here we got, like sometimes I just buy stuff that the store has and that's pretty cheap. So we got some nice red cheese, uh, transparent red cheese slopes for Wakanda's uh, powers when she tries to destroy the Mind Stone. And we got some cheese slopes in light blue gray as well. And this one is pretty exciting. I got a pretty cheap Ebony Ma. So this is going into my Infinity War display case. And I'm actually very close to getting all the figures from Infinity War. I actually only need Doctor Strange. But I'm just going to get the new Doctor Strange that has been revealed. Since that one is uh, has a better cape and whatever. And I don't want to spend 35 euros on that. Uh, on the old Infinity War one. You'll get some dark brown slopes as well. To spice up um, the landscape. And lastly we have some more parts i keep getting these parts just for explosions in the future and we got some more purple for my recoloring and we got some more plates just what the store had that's it from this store so a nice package with a lot of brown parts and a cool figure that's going into my display case so that's it for this package and i'll see you in the next clip so as you guys saw i got this new ebony ma figure even though he doesn't he isn't in the battle of wakanda I still want to get him just for my Infinity War collection. And speaking of that, I actually want to show you guys my Infinity War collection. So I got this acrylic case from AliExpress some time ago and I put all my Infinity War figures. And I've since then I've also gotten a bunch of new, uh, new ones. And most, most of them are purist customs. And some of them have some, uh, some custom elements to it. So let's just put him with the rest of the Black Order. So let's start from top to bottom. We got the new, um, this one, this endgame tunnels is gonna get his own case. I'm gonna get an endgame case as well. 
Then we have Hulk from the beginning of Infinity War, Cull Obsidian, AliExpress Thanos, which I like a lot, but some people don't really like, but I like him a lot. And we got the Falcon. And we got the three members of the Black Order, which I now finally have. And we also have a Red Skull that I made with the, the some like a Harry Potter piece uh, for the floating thing. We got Shuri. And also, I recently just got these tracks in Nebula. As I'm, I also have a Gamora incoming, so I'm I'm gonna have all the um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Actually, wanna uh, show you guys something. I recently just put these uh, Harry Potter mid legs that actually move, and I think it looks a lot better since the big legs, even though he's taller than all the other characters, uh, it makes sense. It still makes him look like an just an adult figure or just a normal figure. And this makes him look, look more like a teen, in my opinion. And I like that a lot. We also have Iron Spider right now. And for people that haven't seen, he, here's my custom Bucky with the uh, also a piece from Harry Potter and then different legs from the Lego store. And then my custom made gun that he uses. It's like a gun from Perk Arms, which I put a visor on and I put the, the clip or mag on the side of it. And looks way better with this hairpiece than instead of Kylo uh, Ren's uh, uh, hairpiece. You got one and Tony also from the uh, opening scenes of Infinity War which I love a lot. We got Brutes and this is actually my favorite figure from the bunch. Actually also just today put a, a, a varnish on it since it was just painted. As you guys see, uh, see I painted this and I put some uh, custom brick bolt guns on it as well. And also put those handcuff pieces to have a little bit more of those uh, guns on, the, on his wrist, which he also has. But I like this painting job a lot. Um, this just bulks up the figure since War Machine is a pretty bulky figure compared to Mark 80 of Iron Man. Since that's nanotech and that's not nanotech. You, uh, speaking of that, here we got Iron Man. Actually just watched black widow and um, i really liked it but that also gave me the confirmation that elena's jacket the the um, olive green jacket is actually the one that black widow uses so i just uh, bought that set so i'm gonna replace this um this torso with a more accurate one i, I still think the hair i maybe could change but i think it's pretty good to be honest so might still make some custom um, buttons for her but they're pretty good oh. and for the people that haven't seen it I also made this Black Panther with the um, DC CMF arms and legs and it looks way better in my opinion here we got Wanda and Vision that also custom is actually it's actually an Age of Ultron oh no it's the new torso from Endgame which and then I put some custom um, skirt piece on it but now I'm gonna show you guys something that is really cool and I hope you guys didn't skip the video already but here is my infinity war cap and it's so cool I just finished these shields today and I also painted these arms so I finally did that I painted these arms with shoulder pads and we have the dual mold legs on him so this is the, the UCS Captain America from Infinity War, the shields are actually they're the same piece that you know you use, but I actually like glued those claws together and put some clay in between. I um, sanded it a lot, and I think the shape looks really good. I hope you guys are impressed by it and think it's nice. Um, I'm really happy with it. So that's Cap and he'll be very nice uh will be very cool fighting on the battlefield and then lastly we got an un unfinished figure but here we got mbaku from wakanda we actually got a new head incoming for him the mr t one uh, which is perfect for him with the beard but as you guys can see we have the fur color and we got the mohawk and the big ball weapon whatever also got a skirt i might still um cut some parts of it so it's better also the torso I'm, I'm not sure it's from like a episode 3 uh, guard from Mustafar um, and that looks pretty nice so we got 
um, a bunch of figs that I'm gonna use. And then we also have 50 outriders, which I'm gonna spread over the battlefield. And um, what else can I show? So let's, let, I'm just gonna put the figures back in the case and I'll show you that. So here we got the whole team um, all by each other. So let me just do it one last um, you know, walkthrough or it's a little bit bright. So maybe I can zoom in. And that cap is super cool in my opinion. Those shields uh, turn out pretty well. Also, finally got the Drax figure. Awesome to finally have that. So, um, sorry for this if uh, this episode wasn't to your expectations. Sorry to, if I disappointed anyone, but I still want to keep these weekly uh, updates and I don't want to skip any updates. I do think this was a pretty major um, like progress, but I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't progress anything on the actual build. I'm sorry, guys. But I hope you guys still enjoyed this episode. And I want to thank you guys for always supporting me. It really means a lot to me. And I hope you guys were um, enjoyed that figure. So if you enjoyed that figure, please leave a like. It would mean a lot. Also, leave a comment if you want. If you haven't already, please subscribe as well. And be tuned uh, for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.